Okay, this video is going to show an issue that I have that I have with an ATS Advanced Telescope Systems uh, the portable pier, the turnbuckle that you see here. Let me give you a little background. On Astromart, I bought a used 12 inch um, ATS pier, 12 inch diameter, it's huge. Uh, from Jurgen Wolf, J U E R G E N, last name Wolf, W O L F. Well, when I received it, it was in the original package, yeah, everything was fine. But uh, when I went to set it up, the one turnbuckle, and I'll show you what how these work, the one turnbuckle was turned extremely hard, very hard. So, anyways, uh, phone calls to uh, Stephen Eubanks uh, at ATS. And uh, then when I got a hold of Jurgen Wolf, um, basically, after quite a bit of prodding, he did the right thing, which would be buy me a replacement part, which he should have. And uh, he, he ended up doing that. So I got this the other day. Uh, and I'll show what the issues, but first let me show you how this, how, uh, how this uh, actually works. Um, So this is the free free side. This gets mounted to the actual pier part, the round tube. Okay, that gets bolted up. Now, when this is on the leg of, of a uh, attachment bolt goes through here, as you turn this, you can see how it opens up, and that is what makes the legs spread to get your uh, to adjust for level. So basically that's how that works. This side would be bolted to the tube, the down tube. So that's rigid. This is attached to the uh, uh, leg, one of the legs. And then as you rotate this, okay. So, what is the issue? Now I'm doing this video hopefully to, sh to so that Steve will see it and uh, agree with what the issue is. And uh, he said there is none. So the problem is, if you look on this side, you'll see how it's perfectly nice and domed. It's round, the way it should be. And you look up here, nice and round. It's perfect. That's the way it should be. It's like that on this one. This is the replacement. It's like that on this and all the sides on the one that came with my, uh, the one that I bought on Astromart. Now when you look here, You'll notice this is the free floating side again that, that I said goes on the uh, tube part, the, 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 uh, down, the uh, center tube. You'll notice, see the washer here? That's the washer. It's flat and I'm going to try to move this around using the sun. You see these dimples? Those are actually gouges, like, like it was taken to a belt sander. You can see that really good there. Here's the actual which uh, uh, washer that they put on, like a nylon type washer. And you can see with the shadows of the sun how rough that surface is. Now if we take off the bolt and look at it face on, you'll see that it's flat up here. There's absolutely no arch, it's flat. It's not, it's not uh, to form. See here how round that is? So it's not to print. It should be round like this. So the issue you ask is what? Well, Steve Eubanks, owner of ATS, quote, called these, called this a small blemish. That's what he called it, a small blemish. When I contacted him with pictures, which I thought, well, let me do the video because it might show better. The video might actually be a better indicator for him. The pictures, although I could see it, maybe he couldn't. Uh, and uh, he says, quote, the turnbuckle was standard issue with some tops being flat on top rather than totally round. This does not affect the function. Well, of course it does not affect the function. But when you spend several thousand dollars on a tripod and you want it to look good and you spend money to get a, a uh, replacement part, why should it be out of uh, print? And more importantly, why did he even send it? 
I mean, to me, that's what you have QC for. I don't know if he does it, someone else does them, if he didn't look at it. But I used to be a tool and die maker, machinist. No way I would let a part like this go out to a customer. This is just, I'm sorry to say, what I would characterize as piss poor. You know, uh, and it's a shame because the ATS tripod is a beautiful design. It's an excellent, I'm very happy with it. But this really kind of puts a damper on it. So I'm hoping that he does the right thing and gets me a new one, makes, makes a new one. Now, here's the other part. In his email, he says, if you are unhappy with the parts, you may send them back to ATS. There are no replacement parts available at this time. Put that in dark letters. Well, obviously there aren't, but you can make them. So I'm assuming that a good businessman would have just said, you know, sorry, we don't have anything at this time. Uh, if you want, use that. I'll make you a new one. I mean, that's how, that's how I would do it. There's no way in heck that I would allow a part like this to go out. It just, to me, gives a bad name to the company. When you do something, your name is on it. I can guarantee you that Astrophysics would never produce a part like this and let it go out to the customer, ever. I've owned a lot of equipment from them. Still have, I mean, have a lot of equipment, have bought different things, and their stuff is perfect. They make sure there's even areas of machining that don't need to be machined perfect, and it is. So anyways, now I'm gonna to go to the pier, to the actual unit, and show you what, what, what I'm talking about. Uh, so again, I'm gonna put this bolt back on, and I want you to make sure you saw, there's that washer, okay? Now here's one of them attached, as it should be. When you look here, this is the top part. This is one of the legs. And it's strapped. When, when you're done, you unbolt it from the leg at here. And then you fold it up, and he's got a Velcro system to hold it, which is kind of cool. But when you look here, you'll notice that it's perfectly round. There's your washer. Not an issue at all. It's perfectly round. We come to the other side. We take a look at it here. You can see that it's round and that the washer, in effect, follows that form. It follows the form here of that part, which is the way it should be. And um, so I guess the point that I have is it's just amazing that this was allowed to leave in the beginning, much less tell a customer that it's a small blemish. A small blemish would be, you know, if there was a nick or a little something, you know, that's not a small blemish when you have actual stock missing. That is not a small blemish. That is a something in manufacturing. To me, it looks like it was taken on it with a line belt sander. And again, I don't have an idea how it was done, but it, it looks like that to me. So I'm going to uh, upload this to my YouTube channel and uh, send a link to um, Steve Eubanks from ATS, Advanced Telescope Systems. And I'm going to send this out to a couple groups. And just I want to get some people's opinions to see what they think. The people that have ATS, are theirs flat like the one that he sent me, or is it nice like this and perfect? I mean, there's no reason. Everything else is good on it. I guess you would also ask, what if you got a car with a part that was ground down? You know, well, that's just a small blemish. I mean, come on, that that's just a, uh, a spin. I don't know why he thought I would believe that, but anyways, so that's, I just wanted to, um, uh, wanted to show that. And, you know, I can't imagine anybody that spends that kind of money on something is going to say it's acceptable not to have something proper. I mean, it's just the way it is. I've got a nice, it's a beautiful tripod. I'm really happy with it. And I just, you know, why would you want to put something like that on there? If I want to resell this, now I've got to disclose that there's, a, I would have to disclose that there's an issue with it. And I would call that an issue. Just like people on Astromart, they'll talk about well, there's a nick here or there, you know, a chip in the paint. Well, they're just being honest. So, Steve Eubanks, uh, I hope you change your mind and don't consider this a small blemish.